let's take this one step further by delving into some neuroscience. Brain development has five main characteristics that can be affected by ACEs. One, brain development is dependent upon activity and experience. Brain synapses and pathways are formed and strengthened over time as a person interacts with their environment. Remember it this way. Synapses that wire together, fire together. Conversely, if you don't use them, you'll lose them. Two, brain development is cumulative. The brain is built in a series of sequential steps. Synapses lead to circuits that lead to pathways, which ultimately lead to consciousness and behavior. Therefore, early experiences and their effects on brain development have a foundational impact on lifelong characteristics and abilities. Three, brain development is integrated. We often try to differentiate brain functions like language skills, social skills, emotional regulation, and cognitive skills. But the brain is more like an interconnected spider web. Deficiencies in one area can lead to deficiencies in other areas. For example, delays in expressive language skills can lead to frustrating social experiences and increased stress, making learning more challenging. Four, brain development is dynamic. Brain plasticity declines over time, making it more difficult to create new synapses and pathways. While it is possible to learn new skills and correct negative behavioral patterns throughout an individual's lifetime, it's best to develop healthy skills and behaviors in childhood. Five, brain development occurs at different times and life stages. Because brain development starts from the back of the brain and progresses toward the front, the on switch for the stress response, the amygdala, matures before the off switch, the prefrontal cortex. Young children who experience adversities and toxic stress may develop difficulties controlling the off switch when their stress response is activated. For example, children who have experienced trauma can exhibit behavioral challenges like temper tantrums, aggression, trouble focusing, and other issues that result from an inability to handle stress appropriately. Let's hear more from our experts about the connections between brain development and childhood adversity. We have in our brain centers to re that respond to the environment, uh, the amygdala, uh, the limbic system, the hippocampus, prefrontal cortex. There are functions of the brain that help us stay in tune with the reality. And if the reality is out of a apparent or real threat of my safety, safety is the most important need of humans. If we're threatened, we will increase our cortisol adrenaline levels to respond to that change. Uh, the amygdala will increase in size over time. The hippocampus, the center that makes us figure out things, shrink over time. The amygdala don't ask what is going on, you just respond. So biologically, the toxic stress is a sustained, intense experiences, state that is caused by these experiences and eventually will change how we make decisions, problem solving, deal with emotional responses. Let's connect the dots. Adverse experiences can affect children at molecular, cellular, and behavioral levels. ACEs and toxic stress can cause certain genes to switch on, enabling potentially harmful traits to be expressed. And when harmful traits are expressed, the likelihood that a person will experience long-term negative outcomes increases. These epigenetic changes have troubling implications for the health and well-being of individual patients and future generations, as evidence suggests that some epigenetic changes can be passed from generation to generation. However, when we intervene at the earliest moment possible, we have the power to prevent or reverse adverse physiological changes, including epigenetic changes and other negative outcomes. And keep in mind that ACEs are not deterministic. Childhood trauma does not always result in behavioral, developmental, or health challenges. As a medical practitioner, you can positively influence your patients and their families' lives. A clear understanding of ACEs and opportunities to intervene will help. Take a moment now to review.